notion that I could be brave Is there anything good on the radio? Turn it up loud and let me know Guys, look what my husband found and brought home. This old piece of wood that we are going to make some shelves out of. It is so old and beautiful. I'm just completely in love. Anyways, he's just going to cut these with the saw so that we have two smaller shelves instead of a great big long piece of wood. Walk me in the morning sun. Tell me I'm a lucky one. Riding on the wave of an ocean that I could be brave. Is there anything good on the radio? Turn it up loud and let me know how it used to be. This is where the new shelving is going to go and the rooster and the family sign are going to have to find a new home somewhere else in our house. So Jeff is just going to take the sign down, he's just getting the screws out. And this is my little makeshift stand because I like to visualize things and I needed to see where the shelf was going to go on the wall so I just propped it up with the stool. That's what that was all about. Now Jeff is just drilling some holes into the back Flash, and also then just putting in the screws we are using a pipe if you can see here and he just cut off the ends of the circular part so that it would be hidden behind the wood now Jeff drilled two large holes into the back of the shelf so those are what are fitting over top of the pipe to hold it in place we have the shelf pulled a little ways away from the wall right now and that's because Jeff is putting on some coats of vinegar using vinegar makes the wood look like it's a so we needed to use about seven coats and we let it dry in between each coat so that we could see the tone of wood and each time I said no it needs to be just a little bit darker and then finally we got to the perfect consistency okay guys it is the next day and the sides here have dried and they are now the same color as this old wood I am so excited to have these shelves up I have wanted shelves up here since we built this house but it was one of those things that wasn't a necessity so it kind of got put on the back burner so I'm super excited to have these in now and it's better than I could have even imagined if I had put the shelves in right away when we moved in because now I have these rustic old ones which I am in love with I just love the detail that it has there and it's just kind of rotting away and everything but I love it I love how rustic it is so I'm gonna go ahead and decorate these up I'll show you how I'm going to do it and then I'll give you a little tour with the camera afterwards so before I could get to decorating my shelves I decided that I needed some decor to go on them and because I had already used up so much of my fall decor decorating up my house earlier I needed to create a little bit more so I decided to make this DIY toilet paper roll pumpkin and the way that you make this is that you unroll the toilet paper roll about a third of the way and then you take the unrolled part Part and you bunch it up and wrap it around itself so that it makes a pumpkin like ball shape and once you're done doing that you just tuck it in the side and then taking the fabric of your choice tuck it into the top of the toilet paper roll I also decided with this sheer fabric to pin it a little bit because it was starting to fall off a little and then I took some sticks and put them in the top and I used a little little string just to tie them together because they were starting to fall apart and pop out a little bit and that just really secured them in and then I made two more pumpkins using a towel and burlap because I just wanted to get a few different textures going on with these pumpkins so yeah you can use pretty much any kind of fabric you want and make them whatever color that you like
Trying to make my way Knocking on every door In this maze The time sits all out of reach Soldier on So now that I have the pumpkins made I'm gonna get back to decorating up these shelves and I'm going to be using the pumpkins in this basket here. This basket is from Costco. I got it last year, so I don't know if they sell it there anymore. I did have these in my pantry, but I stole them from there so that I could decorate my shelves up with them. It's the same old story being told inside my head. I'm too shy to straighten up my bones and be a man. This world a cute saying on it so I just googled fall sayings and I came up with this one it says sweater weather is better together and I thought that just encompassed fall very perfectly and it was something that I would love to look up at my shelf and think about how cozy fall is now I also got this little vase from Dollarama and I'm also going to be putting up my rolling pin I think this is actually quite useful and practical because not only is it pretty decor but if I ever need to use my rolling pin which is not very often but sometimes I do I can just pick it up off the shelf and then clean it and then put it back and then I have this little nail that I put into the wall I got my husband to drill a hole there so that I could do that and then I'm hanging this little cutting board just to give it a little bit more height because I didn't have very many tall things to put here now this bucket says fresh eggs daily and that is actually very true for our house we have currently 29 chickens they're not all hens though so they don't all lay eggs we don't get like 29 eggs a day but we do get quite a few eggs every single day my kids love to go out and collect the eggs in fact we have a hay bale on our front porch at the moment and the chickens actually really like it so they come up on the front porch and sometimes lay eggs for us so it's really convenient to grab them off of there so anyways I'm gonna give you guys a little tour now of my shelves enjoy and I will see you on the other side Are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? I guess I should have been honest. It breaks in my heart. It's weighing me down, baby. I'm like a river that's overflowed. The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt. Let me speak the truth. You think it's too late But I can see past the rain Won't you lay it on me Turn the page and burn it Let's make up a big bonfire Good morning everyone! Connor's getting Invisalign today so that should be interesting. None of my kids have ever had braces or Invisalign before and we're also just doing a checkup for Clara because she did have surgery not that long ago. And then I have a little surprise for the kids since we are heading to the city. Um, they recently took back all of their bottles so they have some money and we're gonna use that to go to the Science Center in Calgary. So 
I think the kids are gonna be super excited about that. I don't even know if, I don't, yeah, I didn't tell them that that's where we were going. I just said we were going to the city to do something fun today. So that should be lots of fun. Okay, so I'm gonna get to tidying up my room because I just wanna tidy it up just a little bit before we leave so that at least I have one semi-decent room when I come home tonight. So we better get to that. Just to breathe, yeah, I need that Take it all in now, I see What I'm asking for Is just some space and some time Then I'll be alright I've been having thoughts in my mind I can't get up Tell me things I can't say myself From you and no show you guys my living room and this is the way that it has been looking for the last few weeks we've had scaffolding here because we are putting beams in our roof they are so beautiful I just want to show you quickly how Jeff installed these he took three pieces of wood and then he notched them together you can see the little L shape there it worked out a lot better than trying to put them on a 45 degree angle I think this way they look like they are one giant piece of wood and then he put some other pieces of wood attached that to the roof and then attached the beam around it so this is super solidly on here it's not gonna fall or anything and if you can see the detail work in here it is so beautiful he hacked this up with a little axe to give it the hand hewn kind of look it's gonna look absolutely gorgeous and it is really high up here it makes me realize how tall our ceilings truly are Okay, so now off to the dentist. Did you have a good checkup? Yeah. You got a little dinosaur? It's orange. It's orange. He said your teeth are just perfect. See? Oh, now you got my dinosaur. Ta-da! Yay! Oh. <laughs> All right, we got Carly over there. Are you excited to yes. go to the science center? I'm very excited. And Connor? Bye. Uh, Bye. <laughs> He's gonna get a Invisalign in a few weeks. They just started to do some scans on his teeth today. Hey, we got Katie over here. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got nice teeth. Nice teeth. Yeah, you do have nice teeth. We are now done with the dentist and we're gonna head off to the science center. I think the kids are kind of excited, right? Yes. <laughs> you excited about the science center, Clara? Yeah. Yeah, you gonna go play there? Play there. Okay, sounds good. Uh -oh. So we're gonna head there now. We had quite the road trip to get here. It is a couple hour drive, so we figure since we're in the city, we may as well make the best of it anyways. So got my Tim's for the road, and now it's just not too much farther, and we just have to head into Calgary now. So I'll show you the Science Center once we get there. Felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Had to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging 
in your shoulders and closed off That's what I told you soon enough Everything started to change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high Remember the colors they Hello! It was way more than a dream Go! You're like peepoo! We climbed up, get over the hillside It's alright, we stood there all wide eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind My mind Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life no Living in the past, we're over that I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights I love seeing how they put everything together, especially the organization stuff. I really get a lot of inspiration from those. And I just like looking around and just seeing the, the different elements. And if you just come around here, it's like they have a little back porch even. They just put so much detail into these places. My kids are having fun too. Carly is always checking out all the fridges and seeing what they have in each one of these rooms. And the rest of my kids are just making themselves at home. Yeah, I thought we'd always shine Just some time off we'd be fine Guess that I was wrong this time When I think about it now I know that I don't I do not wanna give you more of my life So 
if you notice to the left of me, they have a picture window there that makes it feel like you're actually looking outside. They have put so much effort into these layouts. I just really love it. Now, this room is definitely darker than I would paint any room in my house personally, but I just love it. I think it has such a masculine and yet romantic feel to it. I am also really loving this tray that they have on the bed there. I don't have a breakfast tray, but I'm kind of wishing I would have bought one of those because I would love to have breakfast in bed. I never had breakfast in bed, but it sounds like a really good idea. Okay, moving on to this next room. Room. Like I said with the details, this is a little porch where the window is actually a window looking out into the street and then stepping around here into the living room. Clara is going to have herself a nice relaxing cup of coffee or perhaps a tea party. And Carly is having her own little tea party here in this kitchen. I swear that Ikea is just like a great big play area for my kids. It's like a big playhouse. Actually, I gotta be honest, it's like a big playhouse for grown-ups too. I love it here. Now look at this coffee shop. I mean, this isn't even a real coffee shop. This is just a mock-up and I just love it. And a little hint, there is something in this area that I am bringing home. Okay, moving on to the next room. It's just so elegant. I love the chandeliers over top of this bed. I want to put chandeliers over my bed. I'm kind of a chandelier fanatic, and I also want one in my closet now too, looking at this closet. Although I probably have enough chandeliers in my house as is. Okay, so now that you've seen what Ikea has to offer, I'm gonna show you what I personally got from there, and I'm gonna put it together now. the table and I'm going to take everything out of the box and lay it out so that I know what I'm working with. I'm also going to have my son Connor helping me out because he loves to build things and he loves to do puzzles and things like that. So this is right up his alley and he actually asked me if he could help me put it together. He loves doing these kind of things. Now the table I got is obviously a white table and it is an extendable table. So if you see the two pieces there, one piece is the main table and then the other little piece just slides in underneath it and then when you slide it out you can extend it so it can be an extra long table and I thought that would work out really well for our homeschool table so that if we want to keep it small we can if we want to use the room for other things but if we do have a great big project going on and we need that extra table length then we can just pull it out. So apparently putting a table together is a very exciting event in our house, so I have a couple more helpers helping us assemble it. in the seating area. 
I love this color. I just think it's just such a cool color. It reminds me of an old school chair that you would see in a classroom. So I thought it was really fitting to go in our homeschool room. Anyways, if you notice in the background there, just take a look and Clara is going in and out of that seating area. It's quite entertaining. I get a little bit breathless. My thoughts are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? Should have been honest It breaks in my heart It's weighing me down, baby I'm like a river that's overflowed The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt Let me speak the truth I know you don't want to face it You think it's too late But I can see so when Carly and I were putting the screws into this chair, we were not tightening them up completely. We were waiting until I put it onto this table because it is a completely flat surface. So I was making sure that it was completely even before I tightened up all the screws, which we are doing right now. So that way the chair is not going to wobble or anything like that. So there's a little tip for you if you're ever putting a chair together to make sure that it is always on a 100% complete flat surface before you tighten everything up. So Carly and I are just going to show you how this table extends now. It's really simple. You just pull the table out, take the extender out from underneath and place it on top and then push the table together again. And just like that, you have an extended table. I'm really, really happy with this purchase. I think it's going to be great for our homeschooling room. And again, I just love this chair. It's just so old school. I absolutely love everything about it. So that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this get it all done with me video I'll see you guys in my next one take care hold me like this is the first time our destiny calls not leaving this incomplete won't you let